so again it was something unexpected and then a bit expected because we have some problems in in the PDF file. Now I think we were here on on this page. I'm not sure if if the computer saved all our work or not, but anyway we'll work with what we've got. Okay, now uh, we have also started the recording after this unfortunate crash that happened to the program. So, who would like to do the exercise? We have three and four. We are on page two hundred and sixty-four. I apologize again for the problems that it was. It was highly technical, and still I'm suffering from that. I don't know why. Amina, Amani, and Sarah, we have three people Amina. volunteering to to answer the questions. Amina, please. Question number four. Both Alex and Guy can endure several winter winter. Winter, yes. So which one? Both. Number C. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I'm. Uh, I'd like now to ask uh, Abdullah, please. Yeah. Number three. Uh, did anybody answer number three? Nobody. No. No. I'm still waiting. The acidity can result from either a lack of oxygen or a loss of blood. Exactly. Thank you very much, Abdullah. We move now to the next one. Next one is that A, B, C, or D. One of them is a mistake, and the others are correct. We have now with us Amani. Could you please, Amani, help us with any of them? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever you want. Okay, um, we'll see five uh, methods of flood to control, uh, focus on preventing rivers from rising and to keep them within their banks. Okay. Um, D, it should be and keeping them. Thank you very much. Yes, correct. It's part of the structure. Thank you very much, Amani. Sana, please. Okay, um, number six. Painters of the Expressionist School concentrated on themes of horror, fear, and violence. Number D. It should be violence. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Sana. This is correct. Who would like now to give me another sentence? We are waiting for a new round of people who would like to ask and answer these questions. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Who would like to do any of them? Can I understand that nobody is interested in doing 7, 8, 9, and 10? So, can we move to something else now? Sabir, please. Uh, I think uh, number 10. Success in fencing requires not only skill, but balance. But also, with Cheng and not only. So, yes, we need to change and, but we need to put or instead of and. And should be or. Not only skill or balance, but also mental alertness and. Uh, ah, sorry, sorry, not this and. No. I just. Uh, concentration is the word that we want because here it must be uh, something else. Must be concentration, not concentrate. Thank you very much because. It was really tricky to look at and for one reason or another. Thank you very much. Who would like now to do the other exercise? Uh, I think we have we have just two sentences maybe left. Number eight, number nine. Sarah, please. Uh, number eight. Uh, D is wrong. 
the parent structure here is not correct. Is that your answer B? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. We have only one uh, left. Jubara? I think uh, B is wrong. Spheologist is true. Splendors and spheologists. Okay, thank you very much. Now we would like to move to something else here. The last one is said uh, unnecessary repetition, and that is correct usage. When you talk about correct usage, there is little things, a uh, few things that, that we can, there are few things that we can talk about, and I will not cover word usage. I will cover the unnecessary repetition. Now uh, A to J, who would like to say something about them? I'm just uh, lowering your hands in case you want to say something. Please raise your hand and answer the questions. From A to J, once again, um, we are finalizing with this book. Hopefully tomorrow we will meet with you for some exercise from Arabic into English. Jumana, Amina, and Sana, please Jumana. First to number A, Yuri Gagarin made a name for himself, not his son. And what type of error is this one? What type of error is this one? You have to be very fast. It's a pronoun, yes. But you have to be very fast in asking this question. The key to understanding this book is by being very fast. Thank you very much, Jumana. Now we move to Maha. Uh, number B. Number B. And what type of error is this one? Verform. It's verform. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I mean, yes, it's verform. I mean, uh, Maha, thank you. Now, Amina, please. Dogs wearing identification cards. Okay, dogs wearing identification cards, yes. And what kind of problem do we have here? Word form, thank you very much, Amina. Thank you. I'm very pleased that at the end of this book, we're all familiar now with the items and the rules that we have. Sana. Uh, number C, um, what the speaker said. And what do you call this error? Uh, th this is um, uh, um, uh, the word order. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sana. We move now to Nisma. We have to be very fast. We have to be very fast. I'm sorry for. Interrupting you. Nesma, please. Uh, uh, number uh, H. Uh, she is in that class. Hopefully, then uh, the others. Uh, um, uh, they. They, uh, they must be uh, omitted. What's the mistake here? What type of error do we have? Uh, you have to be very fast. It is sub subject yes, verb. subject and pre uh, present and uh, verb both present by the repeated. Thank subject. you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The subject and verb both present by the repeated. You said it. Thank you very much. Uh, Abdullah. Uh, number I walking home a noise frightening the little girl. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I do. I can hear you. Yes. Yeah. I know it's a frightening girl. It's verbal. It's in fact, I don't think it's a verbal as much as I think it's subordination because there is wrong subordination. The whole sentence is incorrect. It should be while the girl was walking home, I know it's frightened her. So the whole thing is incorrect. Most likely it's going to be subordination, but let's see if the book has something else to say. Maybe it would say verbal. So we, we, we need to see something else. Thank you very much. Anyway, Abdullah. Uh, Jumana, Amani, and uh, Sabir, and Sana. Amani, please. Uh, number 
uh, E, the area of California, is bigger than that of Oregon? Yes, so what type of error do we have here? Uh, parallel structure. Exactly, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Amani. I'm very pleased that today we, we're hearing your voices. As you can see, many of you speak like native speakers, like Amani, like Sana, and other people. Yes. Uh, Ali, yes, please. Uh, the final one is students are not permitted to wear earrings in their ears during physical educational classes. Not education, educational. What type of problem do we have here? What form? Okay, thank you very much. <coughs> Anything else? We have now Jumana, Sabr Ali, Jumana. Number G, light beer. Light beer has uh, been, I think it's an um, unnecessary petition. B, B, beer, beer. Light beer has less calories than regular and beer. Reg regular beer. Well, I don't think there's a problem with that. I don't think there's a problem with that, to have beer here and beer there. What do you think? Is that really the unnecessary petition? I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe there's light beer has less calories yes. than... Calories than regular one. Even if he says beer, I don't find it any problem. I don't know. Why should the writer say, of this book say that here we have, for example, uh, unnecessary petition? Uh, the answer to this question now is to see whether other ones have unnecessary petition or not. So after waiting an hour, she was angry. This is not unnecessary petition. And maybe. So I don't know. Maybe this is unnecessary petition, but I cannot still understand why it is unnecessary petition to say beer here. Light beer has this calories than regular one. Maybe. Maybe this is his point, or their point, the writers, is that we have to say one. Thank you very much, Jumana. I cannot be decided uh, on that. Maybe. Why not? Most likely, yes, it's almost a repetition because there is no other way to, to match this G with. Now we have uh, Sana. Uh, can we say that light beer has less calories than, uh, um, than those of regular beer? No, you cannot say of those, no. Uh, would you like to do any of these? I think we have number F. No, I was uh, thinking about... Uh, well, I have the same uh, thing to I think have... about, and this is the problem that we have. Otherwise, I would, uh, as I said, you could you could bring just the key and say, the key says so and so, but it's but not convincing. Say, can, you disagree with using uh, those, we, or uh, yeah, we can change it with another word. Can we say light beer has less calories than that of... You cannot say that. You cannot say that. You cannot do it. Light beer has less calories than regular beer has. I can't see what's wrong with it. Well, I cannot I see, see the mistake here. I cannot see the mistake also. It's I don't confusing, know. confusing, actually. Yes. I don't know. Thank you very much, very anyway. Thank you very much, anyway. This is something that we have to live uh, with. This is the book. It says there is a problem. I don't know why, and you know, don't know why. And then, finally, one, after waiting an hour, she was angry, of course. This is what form. Let's move now to the, what's that, Amas repetition, okay. Now it says that uh, we have in this exercise something that expresses the same thing. So, something in column A and in column B. Something is here, it's the same as something is here. Let's do them, fast is rapid. This is rapid and this is fast, important, significant, very, it means simply very, so very what? Anyway, I'm not just, uh, I'm not going to go through this exercise, there are lots of them. And here we have other, other also words that have similar, similar uh, meanings or something that is included, implied. For example, when you say the store raised, Simply the word raise, it means more, so you cannot say more. 
and uh, we have also more and we have also less so if you say exceed for example the uh, the numbers exceeded the limits more this is incorrect because you exceed already means more decrease already means less so if you say the numbers decreased to 1000 less it is wrong we have because it's all already de decreased decline enlarge inflate surpass all of these things as you can see they have the implication of the word uh, more or less uh, to some extent deflate is the same outweigh is the same augment reduce lower deval i don't know why he is uh, the, why the writers are saying that uh, okay half of the following words simply more while the other half imply less this is the question uh, exceed more decrease less decline less enlarge more inflate more surprise more deflate less outweigh more and augment more reduce less lower less devalue less improve more expand more regress regress and regress so regress is to go back so it's less replace less uh, re relapse sorry relapse less and deplete less overrate more diminish less ascend more shrink less accelerate more increase more and undervalue less Anyway, let's see. Now here we have the good exercise. Perished and died suddenly. Perished and died suddenly. So we have repetition of died and perished. Divided and conquered the enemy. Do you think there's a repetition here between divided and conquered? As you can see, it requires us to know the words exactly. And there's no problem with being between them. This, this is no problem here. Divided and conquered is something totally different. This one and this one. When sterilize and disinfect the wound, yes, this is repetition. Because sterilize means yuqim, disinfect, yutahir, juh, both of them have the same meaning. Dampened and moistened the soil, yes, this is unnecessary repetition because this one means to add yuratib uh, and here it means yuratib. So both of them have the same meaning. Nasma, would you like to ask something or do you want to do some exercises here? I'm sorry, I don't want to say something. You don't want to talk? Are you sad for something? Everybody made you sad because you do not it, want to talk? Uh, I want you to talk. Now, uh, Nesma, please answer this question. Number five, examined and selected the coin. So, do you think there is honest repetition between examined and selected, or do you think it's correct to say so? Uh, I think uh, yes. Cement is different. Uh, exactly, Nesma. Exactly, 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 exactly. They are totally okay. different. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much, Nesma. They are totally different from each other. Examined, uh, selected means simply which are totally different. Uh, I'm lowering now the hands. Now I will give the chance to raise your hands so that you can answer any question. The question here. Is that we have two verbs? Would you think? Do you think that one of them is a repetition of the other one or not? Sana, you can choose any one you like. Okay. Um, um, initiated and terminated. It's correct. There is no repetition. No repetition. Number six. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, yes. Sana. Could you please take uh, another two? Okay. Uh, yes, and speculate. They are the same. Which uh, which point, please? Please, which point? Number nine. Number nine. Guess Number and speculate. Nine. Yes, guess speculate yes. are rep unnecessary repetition. Yes. Uh, just another one, please. Choose another one now. Uh, sheds and discards. It's can. Please, which one? I cannot read them. Which one? Uh, number twelve. Number twelve. Yes. Sheds and discards. This is can. There is no repetition. Uh, no, there is I mean, repetition. Uh, they have the same meaning, yes, they have the same meaning. Yes, Thank there you. Is a repetition. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you uh, very much. 13. Thank you very much. Just three ones. Uh, Abdullah, Maha, Amina, Ali, and Sana. Uh, I would like to start with Abdullah first and then move to Maha. Please, Abdullah. Yeah, number six initiated and terminated the discussion is something different. Yes, it's correct. No problem. Yes, okay. So we'll finish with this one. Okay. 
and we're done with this one. Yeah, about 14. Number 14, okay. Yeah, tilted and folded the layers, something different also, pretty different from folded. Tilted are, is totally different from folded, yes, there's no problem. What else? Yeah, uh, about uh, 16, uh, followed and is it best weight? Pursuit, 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 Tarada. Pursuit, they're the same. Or they are the same. This is Amr's repetition. Thank you very much, Abdullah. We will have to Maha. Okay, number seven. Uh, joined and connected with the wires. The analysis repetition. Exactly. Um, read and, and consider the river, number eight. Uh, no, they are different. Now, one final one, please. Uh, discovered and explored the island. The uh, analysis repetition. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maha. Amina? Yes, uh, number 11. Uh, cultivated and marketed the uh, flowers. It's true. Uh, it's correct, yes. Different. Anything else? Number 13. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, please. Uh, fled and escaped the prison. Uh, we have uh, an accessory repetition. Okay, one final one, please, now. Um, surprised and impressed the audience. Uh, an accessory, we have an accessory repetition. Yes, it is uh, Amas repetition, although there is slight different translation with Zay and Hashahom. Okay, this is the same. It's a, thank you very much. I would like just to move now to other people. Who do I have? We have Ali. Ali, I think you're the last yeah, one to uh, talk, maybe. We have 17, 18, and 19. 17, 19, uh, 20, the same. What do you mean by the same? The same meaning. I don't understand. Let's take them one by one. Yes, okay, there is a repetition in number 17. 17, 18, 19, and 20. And the 18, there is a repetition designed and constructed. I don't think there's no repetition in design and construction. <coughs> but you may say 20, yes, injure or wound the animal. Both of them have the same meaning. Thank you very much, Ali. I'm um, now lowering your hands. Uh, so we have finished with the parallel structure and I will just do the exercise last one uh, please let's try to be as fast as possible with this because we're ending this book with parallel structure I am not going to talk about correct usage simply because correct usage means that you have to read and you have to read as much as possible there's no other choice but to read the words and do the exercises if you have any question just please let us discuss it together and do not consider me as a last resort because in many cases I will be just as uh, as lost as you are in the book and we will try to make just a kind of discussion uh, especially because the book did not have the key that explains everything it just gives you the answer but it doesn't explain why the answer is so anyway let's see now who would like to do them I would I, I would like you to ask you please to do them as fast as possible otherwise we will finish the lecture now because we are all the already late uh, at it's now 10 o'clock it's 9 59 which is also 10 o'clock Jumana please as fast as possible which one do you like to make number one please do it quickly it's a Renisa's. what a very petroleum liquid release his head thank you very much Next, uh, who would like to take uh, the chance of answering this question? Nobody. Amni, please. And number two is uh, number. Uh, the answer is and small. Number A. Yeats are tiny and small. If you say and small, it's almost a repetition, but it is single cell plant. This is what you need mm -hmm. to do. Thank you very much, anyway. Single-celled cell, plant. 
and we finish with this now we move to number three four five six seven and this is page 270 we're at the end of the book so which one would you like to do which one would you like to do Sana. Um, um, number three, expressionism is characterized by both the uh, simplification of form and the use uh, of certain colors. There is no need to. Okay, that's fine. Thank limitation. you very much. Thank you, Peter. So that this is unnecessary repetition. Number four, five, six, and seven. Who would like to do Abdullah, please? Yeah, number four, both or the rising of red dough and changing of the grape juice to wine are famous well-known examples of fermentations. Uh, number C famous because it's uh, repeated here, well-known and famous. Oh, this is repetition. Thank you very much, Abdullah. We now move to another person who would like to do number 567. Jumara, please. Number 5, E. Uh, uh, um, sorry, D. It's, should be, it's, Okay, thank you very much. Maha? Uh, number six, uh, C. Is, it should be R. Where, where Fatigue is the feelings of weariness and exhaustion, which is remedied. No, the feeling is remedied, I think. There's no problem because fatigue. The feeling of weariness let's see, let's see together. Fatigue is a feeling of weariness and exhaustion, which is remedied by eating or sleeping. There's no problem with this because Fatigue is singular. Okay, yes. Do you have any yes. quick uh, suggestion to solve the problem, or shall I move to another person? Fatigue is a feeling of and I'm not sure. Sorry. Fine, no problem. No problem. Thank you. Abdullah, yes. Yeah. Uh, number six uh, is uh, exhaustion because it's uh, unnecessary repetition. Uh, yes. Thank uh, you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. This is unnecessary repetition. Now, uh, sheep can live and thrive on semi-arid mountainous hilly lands where cattle cannot exist. Maha? Yes, sheep can live and thrive. Um, I mean, if thrive, I'm not sure. Okay, yes, so you're not sure if it is thrive or not. No, no, uh, I mean, it is, uh, yes, uh, live and thrive has the same meaning. Well, in fact, uh, this is a bit tricky. A live is something and a thrive is something else. Thrive is to, to work hard in life. But here we have the hilly, yes, this is. Hilly and mountainous are over the same because they are highlands. This is the meaning of hilly and mountainous. Just highland, and I I think this is not a good example because it's still you can say there is difference between mountainous hilly. You can still surely say that thrive and live are totally different. So I don't know. And uh, but I would like to ask you one question about the word usage and the words. What's the difference between sheep and cattle? I already answered this question a long time ago. Yes, sheep. It is, um, How do you translate it into Arabic? Sheep. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Sheep uh, is in classical Arabic oh. is alban. Alban. Okay. What about cattle? Okay. Uh, cattle means alabqar. Thank you very much. It is between uh, mashi. I understand that, but in the jargon of veterinarians and other people who raise the uh, animals, cattle is uh, is always a maqar. This is what I hear them say. I'm not a specialist in the field, but this is what I hear them say. They say cattle is all the, all the time cows. Ferdinand and Isabella, etc., etc., etc. So, who would like to do that? I think I will lower your hands now. Please raise your hand if you would like to answer the questions. Amani, and we have... Uh, Ali, so Amani? Uh, uh, yes, the mistake is in uh, B. It should be 15th. Okay, and what type of error is this one? Um, parallel it's, structure, I believe. No, it's word form. It's word form. It's the form of the word. Okay. 15th. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much, Amani. Now we move to number nine and number ten. Who would like to do them? No hands. We still have some people on sick. Okay, we have the final two ones will be made by Ali and Jumana. So let's hear from Ali. Yeah, number nine. I think the problem with eight. What's uh, wrong with it? Repetition of graceful music. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, Ali. I will give you another chance maybe later on, but now I will ask Jumana to answer this question. Jumana, Ali said there is a, a problem with A, and I say it's not, certainly it's not A, it's something else. Can you please help us? I want to answer number 10. Uh, okay, number 10. I think the mistake is indeed it should be ordinary means. Yeah, you mean it's uh, what? What type of error do what we have? Usage. No, Jumana, it's not what you said. It is ordinary common, so it is unnecessary repetition. Yes. Yeah, ordinary and common means the same. A coma is a deep state of unconsciousness from which a patient cannot be roused. There is no problem with roused by ordinary common means so it's almost repetition thank you very much uh, amina we would like to ask you to help us with this one with number nine nine uh, ali said it's a and i said to him it's not a what do you think i think uh, it's number uh, b you did not to say uh, pink exactly pink. because pink means alone yeah, zahri there is no need for that it's almost yeah. repetition thank you very much I think now we can say that we have safely finished the last uh, section, which is on parallel structure. There's still one about what you said. Unfortunately for us, we cannot continue with that, not only because it takes time, but most importantly, because when you talk about word usage, we're talking about different words, about learning new words, new vocabulary, and derivations, and all things that uh, I believe you can do it alone. Anyway, if you have any question about them, and uh, just please let us see how we can discuss them among each other. We can say now we have finished this book. It was a very interesting one, I, I guess. So maybe it's the same for you. Um, so for the technical problems that we had from time to time. Anyway, it happens. So if you need any, any kind of uh, help, just uh, raise your question in the group, in the Facebook group that we have. And we can raise any kind of discussion there and answer the questions together. Remember, there is no absolute answer for everything, and even the native speakers would be very different. Each one would differ from the other person on even giving anything, uh, any answer. Anyway, we have to, to, to try and to find the answers. That would be the end of this course. I will see you next time, maybe, in other courses. Uh, tomorrow, there will be an additional session, and we will try, we will try to see if you can translate from Arabic into English and if you cannot translate from Arabic into English it's not going to be a problem but we want to say do we have the ability after we translate from Arabic into English to know the mistakes given that we have already studied the grammar of English in a very comprehensive way let's put it to the test tomorrow tomorrow is going to be a test and this test has does not have any marks the test is to test our competence and our understanding of the book. Definitely, we need several readings of the book to understand it fully. And I have, I just have no, nothing else to say. The only thing that I could say is to God bless you all. And I'm very happy to see you, very happy to hear your voices. And very surprised, it's very, very good, surprising that many of you speak a very fluent English. Uh, Amani, I think one of them, Amani, we have. Uh, other than I maybe mean, have Sana, and I think I heard uh, maybe other people speaking English very fluently. I don't remember the names, I'm sorry for that. I beg your pardon, but you were you were really great. You were really great in, in, in learning as fast, faster even than I thought. You were very, very great. You were very great even by being very patient with me, with the webinars, with the crashes, with the problems that we had. Anyway, it was just a good time together. I wish you all the best, and unless you have any other question that you would like to ask or something that you want to make me uh, understand here, 
I have to close this session. So this is the saving of the of this noti file. That's that's always crashing whenever I save it. I think it's saved anyway. So because you don't have any question, I would say to you now good night and let us see you in other courses. Remember tomorrow, the same time we will just have something else other than a grammar. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much all and good night.